My name's Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. I've been an animal lover my entire life. I grew up training cattle dogs and cow horses with my grandfather, and I was an avid falconer in my teens and early 20s. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since, and have devoted the last 14 years of my life to learning about this marvelous little predator. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. Thing. Come on, sleepyhead. Let's go get a muskrat. Something? Did you find something? Looks like there's a little hole there. Good girl. Let's let the meat go, huh? There's something down there. The meat collects it too. Digging though, I thought she could fit in the hole. You know why she's digging? Oh, there's something right there. That's weird. It must be a little dead end hole or something. That's so weird. It's got to be like a shallow dead end hole or something. That's so crazy. Oh, oh, she's got, oh, it's a muskrat, let me go. Hey, get out of it, get out of it. Get out of it. Good girl. Good dog. A lot of interesting things happen that we totally miss at normal speed. So let's slow the action down enough for us to see the details. While they were both running after the muskrat, Onsa actually stepped on Fang's head with her back leg. But it doesn't even phase Fang, and she keeps going after the muskrat. Then, Onsa again goes for the muskrat, this time wrapping her jaws completely around its body. But she stops the moment I tell her to and backs off at my command. Now that's some pretty amazing obedience if you ask me. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Let me candle it. Good dog. Good dog. Good meat. Oh wow, holy crap. Oh, it's so weird. It was in such a shallow hole. It must have just been hiding there when we walked up. Saw us coming or something. Good dog. Good dog. Good meek. Stay out of it, pup. Sorry, guys. I'm not filming this very good. It's hard when your adrenaline's pumping to peak. Good mink. Here's your box. Here's your box. Where we are, we do the other side, huh?
Start getting it in the water. <laughs> Can I help in there? I'm reach in there. Okay, let's pull it onto this side, mate. Right? Let's take it over here then. Shore is a lot more shallow. Can I help you? Yeah, come this way. Come this way. Let's go on this side. There you go. Good link. Good link. Yeah, you got it now. It's dead. Good link. Good link. Good link. Oh, that was exhausting, huh? In the water. Good job, Bonsa. Good puppy. Good puppy. Good puppy. That is so weird. It was in such a shallow hole. That was such a shallow hole. Good dog. Just a good dog. And a good mink. Holy crap, that was, that was hard for her. Doing it underwater. Just make sure it's yeah, it's dead. I'm just going to make sure I didn't want it to suffer. It's she got it good. Even underwater, she killed it pretty clean. So a few people have been wondering why I call my dog off during the hunt. Like in this video, for example, she's just about to grab the muskrat, and I tell her to quit. Uh, the reason is, is I really don't want Ulsa getting involved all the time. When the mink has things under control, I want her to stay out of the way. However, there are times when I do want her to get involved. For example, when the water is deep enough that the mink must swim, the muskrat is almost guaranteed to escape. Muskrats can swim much faster than mink can, and mink are hesitant to even attempt to attack a muskrat in deeper water. So, In water like that, the mink it has very little chance of capturing the muskrat and it's during those times that I very much want Ulta to jump in and help and try and capture the muskrat. But in circumstances like in this video where the water's shallow and the mink's pretty much guaranteed to capture the muskrat, I really want Ulta to stay out of the way. 